Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Carcinoma of the colon and we are looking at the TNM staging. So to begin with the primary tumor, so TX. So this is the colon. TX means as usual it is, it cannot be assessed. So we are, so it cannot be assessed. Then when we move on to the 30. So T0 means there is uh, no evidence of cancer. So there is no evidence. Then when you look at the TIS, the TIS is, it means it is carcinoma in C2. So what we are discussing is uh, with respect to the seventh edition. So TIS means it is uh, in C2. Then when you look at T1, T1 means it invades the mucosa. So it invades the submucosa and then we look at the T2. So what do you mean by T2? T2 means it invades the muscularis propria. So it invades the MP, that is the muscularis propria. T3 means it invades the muscularis propria into the subsclerosa, into the subserosa and or into the non-peritonalized pericolic or into the non-peritonized pericolic non-peritonized pericolic or the perirectal tissues perirectal tissues then I look at T4. T4 means it invades other organs or the tissues or the perforates. So it invades the invasion of the other organs. So it invades the other organs or there is invasion into the tissues and it perforates the visceral peritoneum of the specimen. So it perforates the perforates the visceral peritoneum, visceral peritoneum of the specimen. So the same in the 4A, in the 8th edition it is divided into A and B. Let's look at that as well. So as per the 8th edition T4A. So T4A it stands for the invades through the visceral peritoneum. So what they are telling is in which of the VP that is the visceral peritoneum and this includes the gross perforation of the bowel and the invasion of the tumor through the areas of inflammation. So what they are telling is it includes the gross perforation. So gross perforation of the bowel and the invasion of the tumor. So it includes the gross perforation of the bowel as well as the invasion, invasion of the tumor. So bowel as well as the invasion of the tumor through the areas of inflammation, through the areas of the inflammation and this is to the surface of the visceral peritoneum, this is to the surface of the visceral, visceral peritoneum. Then when we talk about 4B in the 8th edition, it means it invades and adders to the adjacent organs or structures. So here it nothing but it invades or it adders, so it invades or it adders to the adjacent organs or the structure, so to the adjacent organs or the structures. Next, we move on to the regional lymph nodes. So when you look at the regional lymph nodes, we are writing it as RLN in short. So there is always there is an X, X here means it does not, it cannot be assessed. So there is, it cannot be assessed and next in line is the N0. N0 means there is no lymph node metastasis. Next is N1. In the seventh edition, N1 means it is 1 to 3 pericolic or the perirectal lymph nodes. So 1 to 3 peri colic 
or the perirectal so it means it is a 1 to 3 pericolic or the perirectal lymph nodes next let's look at in the 8th edition how is it different so when you look at the 8th edition the n1a there is something known as the n1a so n1a there is a one regional lymph node this presence of one regional lymph node in terms of 1b there is two to three regional lymph nodes and when you look at 1c 1c means there is no regional lymph node there is no rln that's a regional lymph node so there's no regional lymph node are positive so no regional lymph node are positive but they are tumor deposits but there are this presence of the tumor deposits so the tumor deposits are present in the subserosa so tumor deposits are present in the subserosa as well as the mesentery so they are present in the subserosa mesentery or the non peritonized pericolic or the perirectal or mesentery of the non peritonized so mesentery or non peritonized pericolic pericolic or the perirectal so pericolic or the perirectal or the mesorectal tissues or the mesorectal tissues now let's look at in the 7th edition what is the what does n2 stand for so n2 it stands for the metastasis so n2 means it's the metastasis of greater than 4 n2 means it is greater than 4 and it is pericolic it is greater than 4 pericolic or the perirectal lymph nodes it is greater than 4 pericolic or the perirectal lymph nodes now let's look at n2a so what is meant by n2a this is in terms of the eighth edition n2a means it is 4 to 6 regional lymph nodes so it's 4 to 6 regional lymph nodes is 4 to 6 and then when you look at n2b n2b means it is greater than or equal to 7 regional lymph nodes next is when we discuss about the distance metastasis so under distance metastasis there is m not m not means there is no distance metastasis and then m1 means the metastasis is present metastasis is present so this is simply given in terms of the 7th edition in terms of the 8th edition the there is m1a m1b and m1c m1a means it is confined to the one organ of the site with the peritoneal metastasis so it is confined to the one organ it is confined to the one organ or it is confined to the one site and there is no peritoneal metastasis so this is without the peritoneal metastasis so 1b means it is a metastasis to the greater than two sites so it is greater than two sites or the organs and it is identified without the peritoneal metastasis so it is identified without without the peritoneal metastasis lastly there is the m1c so m1c means the metastasis to the peritoneal surface so this metastasis to the ps we are writing it as ps there is the peritoneal surface and it is identified alone so it is identified alone or with other site or organ metastasis or the other site or the organ metastasis now let's look at the stages so let's strictly look as per the ajcc 7th edition so stage 1 means it is t1 to t2 that is no or m0 2a means it is t3 and it is again no m0 and 2b is t4 n0 m0 next we have the 3a so the 2a the 2b in terms of the 8th edition it is t4a 
N0, M0. Then when you look at the 2C in terms of the ETH addition, it is T4V, N0, M0. And the 3A, 3A in terms of the 7th addition is uh, T12, N1, M0. Now when you're looking at the 8th edition, it is nothing but T1, N1, M0 or T1, N2, A, M0. Next is the T3. So T3 means it is T3, N1, M0 or in terms of the 8th edition, it is T3, 4A. N1, M0, T2, 2, 3, N2, A, M0, or the T1, 2, 2, N2, B, M0. Now, let's move on to the 3C. So, in terms of 3C, it is nothing but the 3, TC, N2, M0, and the T4, N1, 2, M0. And now, when you look at the 8th edition, it is uh, simply put as the T4A, N2A0, two zero, M0 zero, and T3 to 4A is N2B M0 and T4B or uh, this can be any N or M0. Now let's look at the fourth. So in terms of the fourth, it is going to be NET. It means it is NET or it can be any N and M1. Now the same thing if you look at the 8th edition, it is going to be 4A and this is going to include any T and it is going to include any N as well as M1A. Same thing when you look at 4B. 4B means it is any T, it includes any N as well as M1B. Now when you look at the IVC, that is a 4C, it includes any T any N as well as M1C. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.